Here are some examples of attaching an RFD 22301 SMD module to a circuit board motherboard using Chipquick's no lead solder and Kester's solder wire, no lead. Here I'm just applying a small amount of flux to the pads where the RF Duino 22301 is going to connect. And I'm applying the chip, the 22301 SMD, lining it all up. I like to use a little small clamp to gently clamp the SMD module to the motherboard. The RF Duino SMD module, RFD22301, uses castellated holes on the very edge of the two sides of the board which are used for the connection points. It is important to line up these castellated pins areas to your pads on your motherboard. You can either use uh, solder wire, very small, thin solder wire, or you can use solder paste if that's preferable. Uh, you can apply the solder paste with a uh, very fine dental tool. Line it all up nice and carefully, then come in with just a small dab of solder on the two corners to lock it in place, and then I can take my time soldering the rest of the connections. Now that I have uh, two corners on opposite sides pre-tacked down, I can inspect to make sure I haven't moved the part. All the castellated pins are still lined with the pads. Uh, then I come back in and either use solder paste or solder wire and finish off the rest of the connections. To complete the project, I add the uh, edge connectors basically burnt stick pins at a right angle add the connector on the back or the socket on the back for my battery again that can just be hand soldered no big deal lots of pad space there for that and uh, we're done gotta just go test it